Hi everyone, this is Lise from Soul Therapy Wellness Spa with Megan and we're going to be doing the <laughs> latte look. So we're going to do this in different sections. So the first we're going to do the skin prep and then we're going to actually do her complexion just as a, a tutorial on its own. And then we're going to finalize with the latte look itself. So we're going to do this all in different uh, in different phases. So the first phase is skin prep. So of course, you're going to want to cleanse your skin, get all this stuff ready. So we're just going to clean with some of our toner. So I'm just going to use our soothing and gentle herbal tonique. Well, it smells good. So it does have a little bit of lavender though. You can't use lavender. I can use okay. lavender. Yeah. We're going to prep with the, I'm going to use that kombucha. I don't think I've ever used that one on you before. The, it's got a kind of an earthy smell to it. I can't wait to smell it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, I always think it smells like grass. And I mean the grass on the lawn, not the other grass. <laughs> <laughs> that would stink. Yeah, that would be gross. That would be, yeah, that would be horrible. We're going to use our kombucha renewal Com recovery complex. So this is a probiotic serum. It actually has probiotics and plant biopeptides. What does it do? It's anti-aging, but it's also really good for people who have problems with their skin barrier. Like they're, they're really dry, but their, their skin is compromised. So they have the crusting and the, like the, it starts to crust around the nose and stuff like that. So it's, it's really hydrating, but it's also good, say for, um, it's an anti-aging. Okay. And then it's going to, cause it has the biopeptides. So peptides are what your skin can actually use to repair itself. And then the last thing it could be good for, um, acne prone skin because of the bacterial factor in acne prone skin. So it's, it's, it's actually allowing the, the acne bacteria to, to thrive or to live. So when you use something that's going to help the immune system of your skin, it's good to use a, a probiotic. It smells, it yeah. smells really good. Yeah, it smells really nice. Now we're gonna finish off, here we are. We're gonna use our soothing hibiscus whipped cream. I'm going to get a, a new one in the fall. It's going to, it's avocado basil whipped cream. Oh, that's what, yeah. that sounds really good. Yeah, it, it smells nice. And it's the same texture as this one. This is my favorite one. Yeah. I need, this is the one I have at home. Yeah. going to use my lip rescue butter bomb. Okay, so we just finished preparing her skin and now we're going to get ready to do the actual foundation and her face. We're going to make everything look even in tone. As you can see, she's had some sun. She has some hyperpigmentation. <laughs> so we're going to fix that. So we're going to totally show how you can do your complexion in your face with just foundation and um corrective so there's these are illuminating lotions and then we have our flawless finish these are color correctors so we're going to see what we can do with all of these with uh just making your skin actually look almost perfect in in color and tone erase all my sun damage and pigmentation yeah so the cool thing with just buying different shades of foundation is you can find the color that matches you and you can also purchase a foundation that's one shade lighter and then two shades darker and you're going to use the two shades darker for your actual color contour so this is a real cool trick um, there's a lot of professional uh, makeup artists that do this but you're going to actually do your contour first before you actually apply your foundation. So we're going to we 
could actually probably do one more shade darker than that. But actually, I'm going to use the, the contour stick. Just, and you don't need a lot. Just a dab up on the, on the forehead. So we're going to use the actual um, contour stick. And we're going to blend that so you see how much darker it is into that foundation. We're just going to pat it for now because we're actually going to buff the, the foundation. All right. So we're going to take the foundation brush and we're just going to go over the whole cheek area. Oh, that actually is working really well. It's pretty incredible, actually. Mm -hmm. So we have these uh, fade foundation brushes available. They're really nice to blend the foundation into the skin. Looks like something even I could learn to use. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Yeah, it really balanced out everything, hey? Mm-hmm. All right, so now we're going to be ready to go into the, um, that was it. Like, I, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. <laughs> yeah, especially the amount of Yeah, that was going to be pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Let's do your brows here. What are you using in my brows? The brunette brow fix. Just going to use the skinny taupe just to fill in. And I like to use a, a powder brush like this. So it is going to apply, we're going to apply this color. It's called Sugar Cookie. So this one is a really pretty color and it's a bronzer that you can multi purpose with it. You're going to use it for your cheeks and for the eyes. So we're just gonna blend this onto the cheeks and just use it almost like a blusher, but we're really following her, her cheekbone right here, and then we're blending up. And a smidgen on her forehead, not too much, because her forehead is a little smaller, so the bigger your forehead, like mine, you can put it right all over, okay? And then you're gonna put it along the jaw so this is going to give you that sun-kissed look and this is a great look going into fall because as your skin is lightening up and um, your tan is fading, this is a nice way to make you look still more tanned and it's going to help your skin look more even as well. All right, so let's go into the eyes. We're going to go back with this color, the sugar cookie, okay? And we're just going to apply this all over. And this is a nice base for, it's a transition color. So if you have uh, a bronzer that you like, you can use any bronzer, but um, it's nice to use 
something that's a similar color. And this is a nice warm bronzer, so it has a yellow undertone to create this look. You can use cooler tones, but the cooler tones end up looking a little bit ashier. And um, I like to, if you're a cool toned person or you have a lot of pink in your skin, you still can use these warm tones. It, it's nothing saying that you can't use warm tones on your skin and around your eyes. So we're just going to blend out a little bit here. Then we're going to go into our shadows. So we're going to use vanilla and um, probably toffee and a little bit of the Turkish. So let's go into the highlighting color. This is vanilla. And then we're going to go into the toffee, but we're going to use a smaller brush. just for the outside here. It's more of your contour color. And this is just gonna go into this, the crease and around just to make the eye look a little bit more rounder. Mm -hmm. This is actually quite, really pretty color, this toffee. And then we're going to blend a little bit of the Turkish right into it. So it's a little bit of a warmer color. We're just gonna blend them all together. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, so the color of the moment for eyeliner is dark brown. So we're getting away from black. We're going back to the dark browns and the deeper browns. This one is a bestseller already. I've sold out of this color. I have to order some more. But it's dark chocolate and it's a waterproof formula. So we're just putting this right as close to the lash line as we can get. But we're going to use this to set the, so we'll close. And we're just going to blend that into that eyeliner. Okay, now we're going to go into Skin Perfection, which is this really shimmery, nude kind of a color. So it's like that. And we're just going to put that on the in the inner eye area there, just a little, just to give it a little bit of highlight. And then we're going to go along the, sh the cheeks. And this is going to be our cheek highlight as well. All right. So then we're going to finish off with our mascara. So our mascaras are they're actually quite a nice mascara because they are, they call them intense lash. Now you can choose to do um, like the dark brown, something like this. So the dark brown is like that, which is more of a black brown, but this one is our deeper one because her complexion, we can go really dark. So that's generally what we want to do. Black usually looks the best, but if you're pretty fair, you might want to consider the dark brown. So we're just going to do the top lashes. We're not going to do the bottom.
So you can see this colors, these colors look really nice on everybody. It doesn't matter what your coloring is. You can use all of these colors really successfully. So let's do the lips. Lips are super going to be super easy. There's basically just two colors. So we're going to use our naked um, lip liner and our new liquid um, lip but lacquer. It's called Honest, which is a really pretty kind of a rosy beige, I guess you could say. So we're going to line the lip. We're just going to do a natural lip. We're not going to try to exaggerate. So we're going to line right on the on the line of the lip. And we are going to color right into the lip with the pencil. So the pencil is going to give a bit of a waxy base. A lip brush for this but basically you can just buy this and just put it on right straight to the lips so it's a super easy product to use and this formula is a cross between a lip gloss and a liquid lip formula so it's really nice because it it's going to um, last longer much longer than a lip gloss but it won't dry your lips out like uh, a liquid lip formula can All right, so we're just going to blend a little bit more here. Now we are <laughs> back for the finale of doing the glam look along with the latte. So we're going to glam the latte look, okay? So we're going to start off with our escort this is a really pretty, it is a diamond liquid lip formula. So you can use this by itself and it's a really beautiful color. So we're going to just swatch it so you can see. It's actually hard to see here, but you can Super see bronzy. that. Yeah, it's very bronzy and it's got a lot of gold sparkle in it. So it's really quite pretty, but we're going to use this on the lip. But we're going to, yeah, so, but we're going to really gloss it up. So we're going to use this first because it is a, it is a liquid lip formula, which I do find they tend to be drying, but I love this formula on the eyes. Like it really lasts on the eyes. So you can put this stuff directly on your eyes. Yeah. Ooh. And this, this, what it does is it, close it gives that really pretty shimmery look without being over the top all right See, very nice flashy I like okay. it and then we're gonna just gloss it up a little bit more with our poster girl lip glaze so we just make the lips look a little more luscious so we're using this this color it's called poster girl which is um, it's not as beige as I'd like it but it's super sheer so that's what we want is a, a lot of gloss. Pretty. Ooh. And then we are going to just, we're going to use this bronzer now. I don't carry this color. <laughs> But um, it's called Trophy, which is a very, it's a very shimmery, bronzy, illuminating lotion. So we're going to blend that into the cheeks. Ooh. 
almost like a copper penny color. <laughs> but you're, it's more, it's the, it's real bronze. Like legit real bronze? No. Okay, it was like, because then don't put it on me, please. Very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that shimmer. You see that it really glows. So you can put that in just little strategic spots on the face. Just to continue that that glow that you get from the powder. It's just going to, so then we're just going to blend this all in a little bit more. And then I will do a little bit of powder. So I like to set with um, my mineral finishing minerals. Okay. So this one, it's super, super, super light, this powder. But we're just kind of going, not quite, we're not baking, but we're just putting. You're not baking? Oh. That, what does that mean? That means um, putting powder. Well, I can bake and then I'll just do it all. This is baking. So you actually take the powder and you really saturate the area to show off the contour. And then you actually let it set for a little bit and then you're going to brush it off. So it almost makes a more distinct line on the contour line. Oh, yeah. You see the difference? I don't know if you can see the difference in the video, but... Yeah, but in, pe in, per in, in yeah, person, you can. Yeah. I'm just going to go a little bit underneath. Yeah. So not too much powder, but a little bit just to set everything. And there we go. So we did the beginning with the foundation and the contouring. Then we did the latte look, and then we glammed it up for you. So we hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> and if you're interested in any of these products or anything that uh, you've seen here, please give us a call at 306-883-2946. And if you need to send us a message, just go to soultherapywellness.gmail.com. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again.